Hello, my name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I specialize in medical hypnotherapy, guided visualization, nutrition and exercise, my website being drdoctormedicalhypnosis.com. Today I'm going to discuss a problem that is uh, very bothersome, especially amongst females, and that is urinary tract infection or known as UTI. Before I begin, I would like to give you a short anatomy uh, discussion here. The urinary tract consists of the kidneys, left and right, the ureters, those are the pipes that take the urine from the kidney to the bladder, then there's the bladder of course, and the urethra is a small pipe that goes from, uh, or a tube, is a small tube that goes from the bladder to the outside world. Approximately 50% of females have UTIs or urinary tract infections during the lifetime. The urinary tract infection that is most commonly seen is that of a bladder infection. How does a bladder infection present? usually with some abdominal discomfort, frequency of urination, and burning on urination. Other times, there is what we call asymptomatic urinary tract infections. They don't know that they have an infection, and the diagnosis is made when uh, the female goes to her physician and they analyze the urine, and find a lot of bacteria there known as bacteriuria. There are also many white blood cells and red blood cells present. In that case, what is done in any case of a urinary tract infection, a urine culture is done in order to assess what bacteria is present so that the best possible treatment can be given. The uh, urinary tract infection in the bladder, a bladder infection, is not really serious. What is serious is when the bacteria climb up the ureters and land in the kidneys. And a kidney infection is known as pyelonephritis. This can be severe and oftentimes lands uh, the female up in hospital. The symptoms of pyelonephritis are pain, on either side of the back, high fever, nausea and vomiting, and a generalized malaise and feeling of illness. Pyelonephritis should be treated immediately because there is a chance that the bacteria can go from the kidneys into the bloodstream, causing bacteremia. And of course, the, once that happens, the bacteria can spread to each and every part of the body. So it's not to be taken lightly. A urinary tract infection should be treated. There is such a condition called a honeymoon cystitis. When people go on honeymoon, they have frequent sex, and the bacteria is pushed from the ureter into the bladder. And, of course, they need to be treated as well. An occasional urinary tract infection is usually treated conservatively with plenty of fluids. Cranberry juice works extremely well in prevention and treatment. Sometimes the doctors will prescribe antibiotics. However, what definitely needs antibiotics is if the bacteria has climbed up the ureter and landed in the kidney calling causing pyelonephritis. That's an acute emergency and needs to be taken care of immediately. Pregnant females tend to have more UTIs than others, and the reason being is that there's an enlarged uterus which presses on the bladder and doesn't allow the female to empty the bladder properly. Um, in cases, in order to try and prevent the UTIs, 
we suggest that you drink plenty of fluids, especially cranberry juice. Take showers rather than um, ba ba bathing. When you wipe yourself after going to the bathroom, wipe from the front to the back. This takes the organism to the back and doesn't uh, pollute the front. The most common organism is that causes uh, UTI is called E. coli, Escherichia coli, which is mainly an organism which houses itself in the lower uh, tract of the bowel. And of course, during sex or otherwise, the, the bacteria easily contaminate the bladder as there's so much closeness between the anus and the urethra. Uh, elderly people, females who've gone through their menopause, are also more likely to get urinary tract infections because there's a, been a decrease in the estrogen and progesterone, which normally protects the lining of the bladder. So they get more infections. Males also get UTIs, but to a lesser extent. Usually the cause of a male UTI is either prostatitis or a kidney stone. If you have symptoms of UTIs, if it is recurrent, continually doctors prescribe one antibiotic a day daily or an antibiotic after sex and again uh, drinking plenty of fluids and showering instead of bathing can help prevent recurrent UTIs. If one gets recurrent infections of the kidneys called pyelonephritis, then special x-rays must be done of the kidneys to make sure that there is no congenital or other abnormal defect in the kidneys or the ureter or the bladder. Bladder stones, although not frequent, can also result in UTIs. But if there is a, what we call a congenital abnormality, you are born with an abnormality of the ureter or the kidneys, that can lead to recurrent pyelonephritis and uh, treatment is necessary. Children also tend to get UTIs, especially before 12 years of age. And in males and females, bedwetting can be a cause. If it is recurrent in children, then definitely they need to have special x-rays, either an ultrasound or an intravenous pilogram, because recurrent infections in children can mean that they have a congenital abnormality which needs to be corrected. So the take-home uh, information is shower instead of bathe, good hygiene, drink plenty of fluids to wash out the bacteria from uh, the bladder and if you get recurrent infections take uh, cranberry capsules or cranberry juice. Studies have shown that it is protective and it works in that the cranberry juice, the cranberry juice prevents adherence of the bacteria onto the bladder wall. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I thank you for listening to this health tip.